Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I just wanted to give a quick video of my RC airplane trailer. It is a six by 12 enclosed trailer, single axle. All the walls and the roof are insulated and I have 110 volt power ran throughout the trailer. Let's take a closer look and I'll show you some of the things that work for me. Starting at the front of the trailer, I do have a workbench that I've made at the front for small repairs while you're out at the airfield and some support equipment does ride comfortably on the tabletop to and from the field. You can see I have a pegboard there where some spare parts do, uh, do reside there from time to time. I have three tables that I keep inside this trailer. The only one in here currently is this a half folding one that you see uh, behind my Bill Hempel Super Cub here. Three airplanes in this trailer right now. 50cc Aeroworks Extra 300 Showtime 90 Glow Plane and the 40% Bill Hempel Super Cub. As you can see here I have a wing rack made out of three quarter inch PVC pipe. Holds four wings. I've also installed E-Track in this trailer. I uh, use that. I have a shelf, an adjustable shelf that will ride in the trailer when I'm carrying many small models. I just got back from Perry where I used this shelf for the first time and it worked wonderfully. Moving around the trailer, uh, you'll notice two 110 volt outlets towards the back of the trailer. I use that for running extension cords and the LED light strip you see running around the top of the trailer. Any wing bags will ride from those carabiner hooks on the passenger side of the trailer. So I wanna take one more shot from the back of the trailer. As you can see, my current method for tying models down is a cargo bar across the back of the trailer with bungee, bungee cords to the landing gear of the aircraft. I have had airplanes in this trailer ride from Birmingham, Alabama, all the way down to Gulf Shores and back, down to Perry, Georgia and back, over to Mississippi, up into Huntsville, all in this configuration, and I have never had an issue. Here on the, on the screen, I'm gonna put up a picture of uh, the LED strip around the top of the trailer. You can see here how it, it lights up the trailer pretty nicely. I also have a 12 volt LED lights overhead that are available if you're not looking to use the green lights. And another photo here I have of uh, my shelf that I installed for the first time. We used to travel to Perry, Georgia and back. Uh, still many more improvements to be done to this setup. But unfortunately, it looks like I'll be moving on to a larger size trailer. I'm looking at an eight and a half by 20 or 24 currently. And, uh, we will we'll start all over again. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and I uh, hope you'll like and subscribe.